We were speaking just recently with a scientist who hopes to use CRISPR to prevent mm. disease. Mm. Do you think it's better to treat the disease or try to prevent the disease? Treating disease, um, I think, is certainly a, a good approach because we know there is a problem and we can go and try to fix it. Now, preventing disease, I think, um, is a little more complicated because it, it depends on how we're trying to prevent the disease. Um, some of them may have undesirable side effects um, that we, we don't fully understand. I'll give you one example. One way to uh, prevent HIV infection is to remove a gene called CCR5 from people. So those people will not get infected by HIV virus, which you may think is a great thing. Um, these people are immune from HIV. Um, but the caveat is that if a person doesn't have CCR5, their risk for West Nile virus increases significantly. For West Nile for virus? For West Nile virus. So if you prevent the disease by removing CCR5, you are also installing a new risk to those people. And, and that's where I think we need to be very thoughtful and, and, and careful. And this would be something that would be passed on mm -hmm. from generation to generation. Mm -hmm. If you tinker with the embryo, right. that person will then pass that altered to their children. genetic makeup onto their children. Right. Is that what makes this so controversial? I think that certainly is something that, that's really uh, important to, to, to think about. Because you are you are altering the human germline, and the germline the germline is, is our DNA, and it can get passed on to the next generation. Uh, that's definitely one thing that that makes it controversial. But the second thing is, because we don't understand biology, um, we don't know what the consequences of those changes will be, and and that's why we don't want to edit right now. We we, we shouldn't.